Investing is like planting a seed. Wir sind die Besten! Are you ready to manage your money better? This week's NFT is Fidenza by Tyler Hobbs. Glad I'm not an LSD. When I go up to people and someone happens to be curious about investing, I always ask them, do you have any experience with it? And often they will tell me things like, oh no, I don't do that because I don't have enough money to invest. Or no, that's way too risky for me. I've worked in the financial industry for over five years now, and I've noticed in these conversations that certain misconceptions are extremely hard to get rid of. My name is Sam Collins, and in this video, I will debunk three common myths about the world of investing. <sighs> myth number one, investing is only for the rich. The first myth comes from the time of our parents. Back in the day, you had to go to the bank and ask your account manager, you know the one with the quirky necktie, if you are maybe worthy of investing. And if you didn't have enough money, they would probably look at you a bit funny, maybe even laugh at you and send you home. <laughs> Today, things have changed, of course. Absolutely anyone can invest. Even Jack here can do it. Isn't that right, Jack? And this can be done independently of the local account manager. Using the Bitpanda app, I can invest from just one euro. In fact, I'll do it right now. That was it. All done. One minute. Hey, mum. No, I, I'm in the middle of something, actually. Investing has nothing to do with gambling. We've been over this. Look, honestly, I'm really busy right now. I'll call you back. I love you too. Sorry about that, guys. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Myth number two. Investing is like gambling. For many people, the stock market may seem like this complicated, abstract place, and usually somebody who has no clue will compare it to some sort of really shady or bizarre casino. Gambling isn't really about knowledge, it's about fortune and luck. But here's why investing and gambling are two different things. First, investing is a long-term process. Or with gambling, which literally comes from the word to game all, which is about playing and betting, that has nothing to do with investing. In the world economy, investors do not play with money. Secondly, as an investor, you can lower the risk by learning about the field that you're investing in. Because of course, you see, the more you know, the lower the risk is. Well, my advice would be don't take any unnecessary risks and handle your money wisely. Myth number three, investing takes a lot of time. Look, honestly, I spend about 20 hours for my investing per year. That's it. You don't need to spend a large amount of time to invest. It's just like everything in life. If you want to get good at it, you give it some time in the beginning. And most importantly, you don't have to become your own specialist in order to take care of your money. And you really don't need to go to university and get a degree for it either. Nowadays, there are hundreds of YouTube videos that can explain the basics of investing. Let me put it like this. Investing is like planting a seed. In the beginning, you invest more time, you fill your pot with earth, choose a good space, have an eye on it, make sure it gets sunlight, and later, you just watch it grow and water it regularly. But it doesn't require a lot of time from there on. You don't watch your cactus for 40 hours a week, do you? Well, I certainly don't. So, if you want more information on how to invest properly, click here to subscribe. Or check out our other videos and let me know if this video was helpful to you in the comment section down below. I'm Sam Collins, and by watching this video, you have made a good investment.